In this video, I will show you how to jailbreak your PS Vita using the Vita Deploy. It is far easier than the old method and also less hassle. Let's get started. So this guide works for any PS Vita model with any firmware version. And for those who have a PS Vita VAT, you need to have a PS Vita memory card. I repeat, you need to have a PS Vita memory card if you have a PS Vita VAT. Yes, PS Vita VAT only. Got it? SD2 Vita works if you have a hack console. So if you think of using the SD2 Vita while hacking the PS Vita VAT, uh-uh, no no, it won't work. On the other hand, a memory card is not required if you have a PS Vita Slim or a PS TV. So, before jumping to the advanced technical stuff, we need to check the current PS Vita firmware by going into the settings. Move the cursor down and select System. Then select System Information. Since my PS Vita is on firmware 3.65, we need to update it to the latest version before hacking the system. Yes, update it first, then hack the system. If you haven't set up the internet connection, set it up first by getting into the network settings. Select the Wi-Fi access point and type its password. By the way, you have to connect your console to the same Wi-Fi network used by your computer. Then move the cursor to System Update. And update the console using the Wi-Fi connection. If your console is already on 3.73, you can skip this step. Now we need to log in using a PSN account. So get into the settings and select the PlayStation Network. If you have created a PSN account previously, select Use an existing account. But if you don't have a PSN account, select Create a new account. In my case, I choose to use an existing account. Enter the PSN ID and its password, then press Next. Now press OK and close the PlayStation Network settings. Now get into the system menu. Choose the auto start settings and uncheck the download update file for system software option. And now you can close the settings and get back to the home screen. Download the final handcore from the link in the description. And download the Vita Deploy Final Handcore Edition. If you happen to have QCMA or Sony's Content Manager Assistant, uninstall those apps first, or else you might encounter conflicts while trying to hack the console. Open or double-click the Final Handcore Archive and extract its content into a folder. Open the final handcore folder and drag the Vita Deploy Archive into this folder. Now run the final handcore executable. And soon after you launch the final handcore, observe the firewall pop-up notification. Please do not close it, or else it won't work correctly. On the pop-up window, choose Allow Access. If you're not using the Windows Firewall feature, you need to do the same option for your antivirus or anti-malware software. 
If you accidentally press the cancel button or close the firewall pop-up window, you need to get into the firewall advanced settings to solve the issue. Type in wf.msc on the Windows search bar to open the firewall advanced settings. Click the inbound rules and search for the final hand core titles. Right-click every final hand core title and choose properties. Then choose allow the connection and apply it. Do the same thing for the other final hand core title. And now you can close the firewall settings. Back to your PS Vita. Now select the content manager. Select copy content. Select PC. Now you have two options, whether you want to connect your PS Vita to your computer using a Wi-Fi connection or a USB cable. If you are going to use a USB connection, please attach your console to your computer using a USB cable. In my case, I chose Wi-Fi connection. And if you have set it up correctly, you can see your PC name on your PS Vita screen like this. Select your PC. Now back to the final hand core. Look at the generated pin right there. Input the generated pin displayed on the final hand core into the PS Vita. Then press register. And click next. Back to the final hand core. Click the right edge of the window and check the Vita deploy. Now check the trim hand core to 7 megabytes, and then press let's go. If you cannot download the bittersmile.pkg file, you can download it manually from the link in the description below. And after you downloaded the pkg file, put it inside the data folder inside the final hand core folder, and try reloading the app. On your PS Vita, select copy content from your PC to PS Vita system. Now select Applications. Then select PS Vita. When you have done it correctly, you will see two items inside the Applications category. Select all items and choose Copy. Now close the Content Manager and get back to the home screen. You will see two new items on the home screen. Select and run the hand core app. If you cannot get into this screen, please retry, 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 and retry until you get here. And after you get here, select Exit. If it fails to install the Hankaku, select the option, then select Exit. Now get back to the settings. Select Hankaku settings. Enable the unsafe homebrew options. Then select spoof version and type in 3.73. and then close the settings and get back to the home screen. Now run the Vita deploy. Select App Downloader. Now check Vita Shell, Vita Homebrew Browser, and ITLS Installer. Move the cursor to the top and select Download the selected apps. Mark all the downloaded apps by pressing the square button. Then press the triangle button to open the context menu, and select more. Choose install all, and press the circle button every time you are prompted. Now close the Vita shell. 
and rerun the Vita deploy. Now choose install a different OS. Select Quick 3.65 install. This process will downgrade the PS Vita firmware to 3.65 and automatically apply the permanent hand kaku into it. Or and so, you must downgrade or you cannot use the SD to Vita feature or other specific feature later. Press the cross button to confirm and wait for 20 seconds. And press the cross button again to proceed with the downgrading process. So at this step, you have successfully hacked a PS Vita. You can open the settings to see the firmware version. It says 3.65 with Hankaku suffix. And you know what? The hack is permanent until you remove it. Yeah, it's now done. It was not too hard, right? Thanks for watching this video.